gaze at the stick. From who's got it better than us to brick by brick. It's always the 49ers way from off season to game day. Yeah, we talk back. It's the 49ers cut back. It's 49ers Cutback Podcast time. We're back with another video here to talk about another 49er selection. And we just keep moving down the list of the draft picks, but there's still a lot of very good players sitting right here in this spot. Uh, yes, solid players and players that we really like, including a linebacker who's still going to be on the board here at this spot. And that, you know, I, I know some people don't necessarily have him up there as high as as. I think you and I both have him, but this was one of our favorite linebackers in the whole wide world. And Zacoby McLean at Auburn is still going to be available around these spots. And you may be sitting there going, linebackers? We don't need no linebackers. And you're right. The Niners don't have a lot of needs. At this point, you're looking for elite traits and best available player. And when you're getting towards the back end of that fifth round, or starting to get closer to that sixth round, at this point, you're willing to take flyers on guys as long as they meet certain type criteria. I would like to argue that, in fact, it is a need because you are going to probably lose Aziz Alshire or Drake Greenlaw in the offseason of 2022-2023. So you're going to have to have guys an influx of talent. You have Demetrius Flanagan Fowles. Is he the answer? We don't know for sure. Bringing in a Jacoby McClain that can run the way he does, sideline to sideline, that packs the thump and punch that he does, is somebody you definitely want to add. You know, he, he's one of those guys that doesn't have the elite, you know, elite height, elite speed, elite uh, weight. Um, but what he is, he's just a darn good football player. And that's the kind of guys you like to add on your team. Those guys that come out of nowhere and develop right away, he'd make an instant impact on special teams. Uh, and that's what you're going to need. You're going to need these guys to go make plays because Aziz Alshire, before he was a starter, was an impact special teams player. So keep infusing your team with hard hitters that can fly around and potentially develop into big time players for your team. So Kobe McClain would be an absolute huge target right here. Huge target, and he'd be a massive target here. And and look, I'm not going to sit here and say that this is the route to go. Um, some people would would argue you might be able to get him in a little bit, maybe 20 picks from now. You you might be right. The problem is you don't pick again until 220 and 221, and there's a good chance he ain't going to be around around that spot. It's just really not. At this point, teams are going to be flying up boards looking to take guys and looking for guys with elite characteristics and traits that do different things in their system. And there's plenty of defenses and teams that are looking for a guy with Jacoby McLean's skill sets, his IQ, how he gets downhill, how he plays. Um, so I, I think this would be a spot that, yeah, you may be a, you may be considering this a reach, but it, it, here's the thing. I don't think either one of us truly believes the Niners are going to be making the picks at 262, making the picks at 220, making the picks at 221. I think ideally you're trying to package those and get up as much as you can up into this area here. I mean, ideally, if you have two more picks before 172 and 172 is your last pick for the 49ers and you take five or six guys in this draft, then you're in a great position. And if this is the last selection that you make, or if you have a pick, from 222 21 that you traded up into the, the early 200s if not the late 190s and Jacoby McLean is a selection in this area this will be a great last selection that is going to for sure make an impact in the special teams room and like you brought up and, and mentioned um, but also is going to have a huge impact on the future of your linebacker room and what what flexibility and options you have going forward now don't get me wrong it's not the only guy here um you still have the potential of a taekwon thornton or Vilas jones i would say one of them getting closer to the spot rather than both of them if i was a betting man between the two i think it would be taekwon thornton that falls a little bit further than Vilas jones not because of anything else other than Vilas jones has speed Vilas jones has shown i think a lot more in terms of the amount of routes he can run i think some teams like the speed and route running aspect of Vela's Jones more than they like a Tyquan Thornton. They may view Tyquan Thornton as more of a prospect, therefore has a better chance of sliding further down towards pick 172. Yeah, and since we're talking about the 172 mark, I think there's a little bit of an area between 132 or 134 and 172 where the 49ers could package one of those six six round comps and then move up a little bit. And that's what I'm going to stick with speed. I'm going to stick with 4-3 speed, but I'm going to go with Amari Barno out of Virginia Tech, an absolutely quick linebacker who has edge rush potential. Somebody the 49ers could bring in and develop huge special teams advantage right away. I'm sticking with the linebacker role because I think there is a niche there. Now, I don't see him playing a 4-3 outside linebacker, but I do see him potentially being a hybrid guy that could do both. And as the NFL can continue to change and and kind of change in the way of pass, you're going to have more nickel sets. So you want a guy that has that flexibility to be able to play an outside linebacker and be able to rush, rush off the edge. Quick first step, elite speed. Uh, somebody you'd really like to add. I don't know if he's going to be available at 172. I think he'll probably go in more in the 150 range. 
but around that area, if you're able to package those together, I couldn't pass up talking about this guy because I think he could be a dynamic guy you could find a niche with. And I think uh, Chris Kassara could really develop him in the wide nine. I've had all the conversation in the 49ers offseason about Brian Burns. Here's a guy that has a similar makeup to Brian Burns, Sorry. just not as good in the edge rusher, more of a developmental piece. But if you could stash him in the linebacker room as the fifth linebacker who's a special teams guy and develop those skills, he could transition into a different role. We know Marcel Harris transitioned from safety to linebacker for the 49ers. They're not against moving guys around. Amari Barno would make a lot of sense there. I like I like that. I like that name there. I like the speed there. I like the fluidity. I like the different things that he can do at different roles. And talk about versatility again. And it's the versatility role and niche niche sort of thing that San Francisco looks for in players, not just you know receivers. Not just safeties who transition and become linebackers, uh, just guys who can do a variety of different things. We've seen them use D Ford in situations down at the line of scrimmage, dropping back in coverage. We've seen that out of Sanson Ebicom as well. Right. Amari Bonar could easily fill in and mix into that role where he presents himself as an edge rushing presence, but also can drop back in coverage as you need him. Um, very, very solid, man. Lots of lots of names at this spot. It's crazy to think that we'd be getting this late into the draft and there's still guys around here that we'd really, really like. Um, it, it's it's crazy. I mean, Jalen Naylor is still a guy at Michigan State that's still like going to be unbe- available around this area as well um, that you could reach up into. Uh, you know, the further we start getting past pick 134, start getting past pick 150, the less likely it seems the Niners are wanting to make picks in this area. So if they do, these are the names that we keep an eye on. These are the developmental prospects and some of the pieces that, that could be making their way into San Francisco. Yeah, the the one last guy before we go off is someone with elite trace, Kalen Barnes, a cornerback from Baylor. Yep. Uh, he could potentially go earlier than this, but if he's there, that elite speed is going to be something that's hard to pass. I mean, you, you talk, the guys we talked about all have elite traits, and he'd be somebody that you couldn't pass up in that situation. Fair. Uh, you know what? Tight end, Chingo Okonkwo Okon- from, uh, from Love Maryland. Love that, yeah. Uh, Chingo as well. Elite trait with the speed, the dynamics, the things he could do as a tight end, a hybrid tight end sort of H-back role for, for him in this offense could be could be big. It could be big. And this is a spot roughly he's going in. I know he goes as high as about 150 at times. So you may have to move up a little bit, but he's definitely going to be available in this 172 range. Yeah, I think anytime you're at 172 and you have those comp picks, you're able to move up into the 150. So he's definitely, a is a great player who's definitely on the 49ers radar. We'll look at that, TCC. Lots of options, whether it's tight ends, whether it's a couple of linebackers and or even some wide receiver or cornerback options. Lots of ways for the 49ers to go get someone with an elite trait that, yes, is going to need some development, and but could have a big role to the San Francisco 49ers. It's going to be very interesting to see what the Niners do here at the spot, what route they decide to take. But TCC, let us know what you think down below. Who should be the guy at pick 172? And who should the 49ers be taking? We want to hear from the cutback crew. Yeah, I want to I want to hear about it, and I want to know why. You know, Is this the time that you're going offensive line? Is there a guy that you see? Or are you wanting to go with one of these guys with the elite traits? Maybe just go wanting to go with the dog that we see in Zacoby McClain. Uh, I let, I think everyone should just let us know what they think. I'm curious, uh, but this is going to be a fun draft. I'm looking forward to it. The 49ers, if they're picking at 172, hopefully they're going to get another gym because this is where the 49ers strike. This is usually where the home runs are hit. We'll see how many home runs they can hit in the 2022 NFL draft. And until the next one, cutback crew and the faithful, stay safe. Remember the right way is, is always the 49ers, 49ers way. Oh, you stuck around all the way to this point. Well, I, I hope I hope by this point you've at least liked and subscribed if you haven't already. And there's some, some cards over there, Ant, too, with some other yeah. high quality videos they can check out. Yeah, click one of the click one of the links and watch one of the videos. It's gonna be great. We'll see you there.